So that exactly, so what does it exactly mean to be contrite? Okay. According to the International Bible Encyclopedia, a contrite heart is one in which the natural pride and self-sufficiency have been completely humbled by the consciousness of guilt. Now Jesus sends the Holy Spirit to us to guide us into all truth and to convict us of our guilt concerning our sins. Why? Because he wants to condemn us? No. Because he wants to set us free. It's that conviction that the Holy Spirit brings into our lives and raises these things up and shows us. These are the things that I want to uh, heal you in these areas. This and this and that. The Holy Spirit is the ultimate uh, truth that God sends us. It represents and cries out everything <coughs> that the Father gave Jesus to tell us. So people say, no, but this part of the Bible was left out and this was left. No, the Holy Spirit will bring it all to Yes, read where I believe that the word is, is sufficient and God's hand. Uh, has been involved in putting it together. It was written by different men, but, but they were all anointed. And God protected this word because it all fits together. And the Holy Spirit brings it alive. And when you believe in it, faith comes from hearing the word, but hearing it in your heart. I'm nearly finished. Completely humbled by the conscious, the Hebrew and Greek uh, words often translated contract actually means crushed, crippled, or broken. When contrite modifies heart, we get the picture of a conscience that is crushed by the weight of its own guilt. When a human spirit stops justifying its wrong choices, awakens to the depth of its depravity and, and humbly accepts God's righteous condemnation of sin, contrition is present. A contrite heart offers no excuses and shifts no blame. It fully agrees with God about how evil it is. A contrite heart throws itself upon the mercy of God, knowing that it deserves nothing but righteous wrath. The place of contrition is a blessed place to be, God says. I live in a highly and holy place, but also with one who is contrite and lowly in spirit, to revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contrite. The contrite are promised a dwelling place with God. Their broken hearts will be revitalized. Now Paul was very in touch with his brokenness. Very in touch with it. And he was victorious. He was bold. He proclaimed the message of Christ within, in the face of death and persecution. He of all people, you know, we, we can take note, but he was yet humbled in, in his, in, 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 oh what a wretched man, he said, that I struggle with this, do the things I should have been doing. And the things I should I don't do. Oh, I yearn. I yearn to be out of this earthly tent. I'm tired of this fight in a sense that he was saying. No, I'm, I, I, don't want, I don't want what is holy and good. But as long as we live here, it's like, if I can use as an example, an alcoholic stands in front of people and says, I'm, I'm clean. But I'm still an alcoholic. If I can say, a sinner. We're sinners. And Christ has made me clean, but I'm still a sinner. Yes, I'm redeemed, and I'm saved. But the condition is still there. We don't rest on our laurels. Because what does Satan do? He tests you. He tries you. He looks for any open. How many? The Bible says even the elect will be deceived. They will fall. Many, Jesus says, will come and say, Lord, did I not do this in your name? And he disowns them. So we're all prone to sin. All the time we've got to keep watch. Fight the good fight of faith. Now, we're going to hand out some words. And I just want to use this as an opportunity to give you. Uh, and let the, the words of these songs just be sung over you. And, 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 and I just, I believe God has said so many things. I can just challenge you. The best way to prepare is, Lord, just help me and show me. The, the, uh, David's confession test me show me what it is inside of me test to see if there be any wicked way in me because he, he, he fell on his knees before God and he said against you and only you have I sinned 
Teach me your ways, he goes on to say, teach me your ways that I may meditate on them day and night. Why? That I may see why it is better to make the right choice. So that I don't go that route anymore. So come to Christ. Let him come into you. And you come to him and you are invited there where you sit. In your mind's eye and in your heart, I just want you to, to have this opportunity and use this opportunity together as we approach the throne of His, of his grace. And we're gonna, now, do, how do I get you to communicate? If I can talk. talk can you talk? Talk. Now, Leon, okay, okay. talk. While um, I hand these things up. Okay, um, Michelle, it's in the file called Brent. And there's a web file. Is it, it's something edit, edited something dot web. It's not an MP3. It's a dot web. Which, well, your computer will be able to Should play. Should I use it? I'm, no, but I'm stuck by the behind the camera, so it's fine. That's fine. Okay. Um, have you got it, Michelle? No. You no. It's in Brent. Yes, it's in Brent. Yeah. And there is something dot mp3, something edited, something files are edited. Print yes, edited. Yes. Yeah. Dot mp3, that's the one. Say, you must just, just click on it. Click it. Okay, but that's it's an it mp3, playing. yeah, no, then no. it'll start playing. No, don't click on it yet. Okay. When you let everybody be ready. Has everybody got one of these? Now, I've given you the words. Mm -hmm. Who hasn't got... I just, I've examined these words, they're biblical, I've discerned in my spirit, not just me, with, with agreement, I've shared this with Len as well, and uh, I just want you to get into a space where you find yourself relaxed and welcome in His presence, and I invite you to come and commune with Jesus Christ and just let these words encourage you and wash over you as you draw near to Him. Okay, yes, very good, very good, very good, very good. And while we're listening to these songs, could I ask Katie and Brighton to also serve communion? Yes, that is excellent. I think that uh, um, the way the Holy Spirit works, it's a good time to take communion mm -hmm. and to take it seriously uh, while you sit there. Yes. I have the juice. If anybody wants juice, put up okay. the hand. Okay, for sure. Put the sock there.
Redeemer 